Thank you. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much. Right, so um, could we go then to the uh, Register of Attendance, please? Membership and apologies. Certainly, Chairman. Councillor Kellum Cook. Present. Councillor Barry Dobson. Present. Councillor Anna Kelly. Present. Annie Mason. Present. Councillor Jackie Smith. Present. Councillor Adam Stokes. Present. Councillor Edwards. Present. Thank you. That's everybody present. Thank you, Chairman. With no apologies, is that right? That's correct, Chairman. There's no apologies. Um, we do have um, Councillor Baxter has joined the open session of the meeting as well, just for members' information. Thank you. Uh, disclosures of interest. Um, if any, have has anybody got any disclosures? Take that as no. Okay. Uh, exclusion of the press and public. Um, it's likely that the press and public will be excluded during the discussions um, following following the agenda item. Just a second, it's all crumpled because of the likelihood that information that is given exempt under paragraphs one and Two of scheduled uh, 12A, the Local Government Act 1972, as amended, would be disclosed to them. So, are you happy that uh, we? Uh, is... Yeah. I'm happy to second that, Madam Chairman. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to take a vote by exception on that, as a, a vote will need to be taken. Yeah, OK, yeah, we'll have a vote then by exception. Thank you. Could, if members could indicate, please, in the chat box if they um, object or abstain for that proposal. I don't think I've got anywhere I can put a slot. There doesn't appear to be any um, objections or abstentions to that proposal, Madam Chairman. So I believe we can now enter into closed session. Um, if I could ask Naomi to remove any press or public or anybody that um, members have not invited to attend the closed session. Uh, Chairman of the panel and Chairman of the Employment Committee, can I just come in here, please? Yes. Um, we have Councillor Ashley Baxter has joined the meeting, which is fine for the open session of the Employment Committee. Now that you're going into closed session and suspending the Employment Committee, I would advise that Councillor Baxter does not take part in the interviews uh, as an observer with the candidates. Uh, therefore, I, I also believe that Ashley Baxter, Councillor Ashley Baxter needs to also be removed from the, uh, from the meeting. Thank you. Um, could you please clarify that with the monitoring officer? Uh, Councillor Baxter, I already have done, and she is in agreement with myself that it's not appropriate that you are part of the closed session uh, for the interview of the candidates. It is for the interview panel. If I could um, um, interject in there as well, please, um, Chief Executive. We do also have Councillor Robert Reid and Councillor Rosemary Trollope Bellew, who do not also appear to be members of the committee. If um, that is to be the case for those members as well, please. That, that wouldn't be the case, Shelley, that they've been invited because the, the role of Director of Growth and Culture covers their portfolio responsibilities. So uh, that is why the invitation has been extended to those. Uh, they've been involved in the long listing and in the short listing uh, of the candidates. Thank you for the clarity. Thank you. So, Councillor Baxter, I'll remove you from the meeting. Um, at the end, um, when the committee goes back into open session to um, confirm that a decision has been re... Oh, OK. He's already gone. Um, <laughs> I was just going to tell him I could invite him back in. 
But um, I just to confirm, there are no members of the press and public now in the.